Hi, I'm John Karras, Rapporteur of Telebiometrics in uh, Question 9 of Study Group 17, the ITUT. Um, I'm here to talk about telebiometrics and what we're doing here at ITU. Um, telebiometrics is the ability to measure and communicate um, biology over an open network. There are many applications. Uh, primarily at, at ITU we focus on uh, four things, we have four goals. We'd like to reduce, number one, the risk of logical physical attack. Number two, the availability of natural resources. Uh, number three, reduce accidents or natural disasters. And four, uh, to monitor health for disease. These are the four risks to life. So at Telebiometrics, we work on draft, developing draft recommendations that become recommendations for the, for the industry. Currently, uh, we have a number of recommendations that define telebiometrics, uh, one of them being that telebiometrics is a combination of hardware, software, and wetware, wetware being the human body. Uh, the human body is by far the most complex computational system in the universe, and we would like the ability to quantify it correctly. We see applications in the future that will need to um, identify life in order to interact with it, whether it be uh, autonomous vehicles or, uh, or robotic equipment in industry. We also find that it's extremely important in uh, patient monitoring, even uh, home health care where elderly parents are living at home and we can monitor their activity at a distance and know that if they're in trouble. Uh, currently, we have a new work item proposal uh, it has to do with biosignals, which is effectively heart rate monitoring, or ECG, EKG. And the excitement around that is it, it goes from uh, looking at static biometrics, which is typically fingerprints and iris prints, and it's now dynamic. So we can look at the electrical activity that the body generates between the brain and the heart, uh, and effectively looking at uh, internet of the body. So by looking at these, the ECG signal, we're able to measure things like um, the quality of the heart. We're looking at the uh, potassium level, oxygen level, um, hydration, and can provide a lot of feedback to the mobile user.